that's what it is uh so if someone was trying to you know become a policy analyst <laughs> you know is there like certifications or is there i mean what what um i guess background they should need or um Anything that they, um, well, they should need. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Right. Well, number one, and um, you, you're going to have to really enjoy writing. You're going to need to enjoy uh, research. Okay. Really figuring out, um, you know, a a answering all kinds of questions uh, about the policy and what you're trying to do. You're going to have to really be able to talk to people. And ask them because many times when we're writing policy um, or you know a memoranda and, and other kind of issuances that that go out you know, in the organization, we have to talk to people to see okay what what do you all need okay if you have a policy shop that's all to themselves that's not asking anybody any questions or seeing you know well, well what what if we write it this way what are what are the con what are the potential consequences. You know, mm -hmm. then you you got a terrible policy shop. You know, mm -hmm. throw the whole shop away, right? Because because <laughs> they're they're not they're not helping the organization. Yeah. Okay, uh, I'm Cheryl Abram. Uh, my YouTube channel is Person Centered Cyber. Um, I have two more, but you know, I talk about the same stuff on pretty much all of them. So. Uh, I am a cybersecurity policy analyst. I've been in the field for about three years, uh, officially about three years now. Mm -hmm. uh, I am a career changer. So I was in human resources for around 16, 17 years. And then I just said, you know what? I don't want to do this anymore. Mm -hmm. So let me try to do something else. And I was in my, I don't know, my early 40s when I changed careers. So um, it was scary. It was very, very scary. But, you know, I wasn't happy where I was. Mm -hmm. So I, you know, I, I had to do something and um, decided to go ahead and do this. And I absolutely love this field. I, 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 there's so much more room for me here. And uh, and I, I really do enjoy it. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. Um, and that's that's dope. Like I said, in the, in the first time, well, the first time I interviewed you, you know, uh, it's it's always good to hear from people that have made that transition because I know a lot of people out there, you know, they they work in jobs that they're really not happy with, and yeah. and um, it's 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 almost like taking a leap of faith, you know what I'm saying, and jumping out there, hopping into a new career when you put all this time and effort into another position, yeah. you know what I'm saying. So yeah, that's yeah. that's good to hear. Um, now let, let's talk about um, the actual position because I'm I'm interested in it. I don't I don't know much about policy, um, so my questions may not be 100% right. So elaborate as as much as you can. But um, so what exactly does uh, a policy analyst uh, do? So so you do know what policy is, like yeah. you know intimately what it is, mm -hmm. but. Uh, but so let me let me uh, share it like this. So policy, it's like uh, when I was in the military, I was in the army. OK, mm -hmm. and sometimes we had to go on what they call police call. Okay? Yeah, <laughs> I've done yeah, that. You're just, right, right. <laughs> so you go out there with your bag and your stick or whatever and you pick up trash, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, so you can police the area. So you make it look nice, mm -hmm. you know, so, you know, so uh, things can go on, you know, parades or whatever, but you want to, when you want to keep it looking nice, okay, that's what policy does. Policy is like policing the area, okay, mm -hmm. like police call, right? Mm -hmm. So, so you have, say for instance, um, you, ha you have a household, you have goals for your household. Okay, you want you want peace and harmony in your home. You want your children to grow up, you know, to be respectful and caring, and you know whatever the goals are for, for your household, right? Mm -hmm. So in order for that to happen, in order for you to, to be able to to meet that mission, okay, you need to put some rules in place. All right. So if you have somebody over, I, I need to know who they are. If if we're gonna you want to go sleep at somebody's house, I need to meet their parents first. Uh, you know, you guys got to go to bed by nine o'clock on a school night, and uh, you know, so you put things in place mm -hmm. 
So you can meet the 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 picture of your household, the, the mission that you've created for your house. Mm -hmm. All right. Again, that's what policy does. Okay. Uh, policy is about keeping the environment in a way such that things can happen, that the work can go on. Okay, so that people can do what they're there to do. Policy gets gets you know stuff out of the way, so you can do what it is you need to do. All right. So so everybody knows what policy is. Okay, and that's what it should do. <laughs> okay, <Yeah>. now <laughs> it's some organizations that is not what it does, but that's what that's the purpose of it. That's what policy is supposed to do right it's not supposed to get in your way it's supposed to make way for you so you can do what you're there to do mm -hmm. okay so as a cyber policy analyst um i right now when i left hr i didn't leave everything in hr all of that stuff i brought with me okay? oh yeah and I, that previous and experience I, yeah every single thing i don't care what it was i brought it with me okay so I, w I did not start from scratch when I came into cybersecurity, okay? I started with 17 years of experience in HR. That's what I started with when I uh, you know, came to, to cybersecurity. So I had already been working in policy for all of those years, but it was just, I was writing uh, training policy for all the executive agencies uh, in government, okay? So as a policy, cyber policy analyst, I do the same thing. You know, I have to now, when I was in training, I had to keep up with all the regulations and laws and executive orders and everything that had to do with training and development of managers, supervisors, and executives, okay? Mm -hmm. Here, I'm having to keep up with all the regulations and, and laws and things that come out, you know, from DOD and OPM and OMB and all these individuals about cybersecurity, okay? And we take those things and we see what applies to the organization as far as the requirements, like what they're saying we must do for whatever reason, and incorporating that into the organization. You know, so for instance, DOD just came out with something regarding uh, peripherals being used mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, the vulnerabilities that they present in organizations. So you know, we had to take that and incorporate that into what we were doing um, in a, where I work. So, you know, we had to write a, a policy about that for, for individuals. Okay. Uh, 